Okay, since MCSR has to leave, I request uh, Municipal Commissioner Sri Ajoh Mehta to address the audience. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First thing to start with, I must profusely apologize for being late. It's normally not my nature to be late, but today because of this problem at Devanar and so many other issues, I got caught up in that and therefore got late. I wish I had come earlier, could have understood and seen so many things that were happening here. I must first of all thank Piata, Mr. Dubal, Mr. Siri Sukhatme and his team members for having taken this initiative. Great initiative, I must say, to see how we carry this ease of doing business further. When they first came to me, they mentioned, yes, we've reached a certain level, now we need to carry this beyond. But as we go beyond, there has to be some sort of an understanding between, now I prefer to call my architects as my clients, you are my clients, between my clients and the MCGM uh, staff. So they proposed this uh, seminar and I said, yes, very good, let's go ahead and do this, let's understand what we need to do further. And there was a request that can all the chief engineers or head of departments come and make a small presentation on what they are doing. And that is something that we started with and it's here, I wish I could have seen through the whole this thing. If you see the ease of doing business initiative, when I first came to you, we said we are going to come up with simplified norms. We are going to come up with a system which is predictable because one thing I believe very strongly in the government is that the government has to be predictable. If people have to do business, if people have to live, you have to be predictable like a bus, a train or an aircraft, it has to be predictable. Pachwasta train sutnar hai manje, pachwasta train sutnar. Sahavasta train pochil manje, sahavasta pochnar. Unless we bring predictability in our systems, there is no way that we can do business and do business correctly. So everybody should know that if I put in an application, it will be approved or it will not be approved. Only predictability will bring business, will reduce corruption, will reduce red tapeism and will reduce unnecessary effort. Unless you are predictable, you do not know what question I will ask, what is the answer you should give, then you become dependent on one person, then some intermediate comes in, then a dalal comes in, then money has to be paid. If all this has to be stopped, we have to bring fundamentally, everywhere I tell my people, please be predictable. People are worried about your predictability. You can't say as MC cha mood changla hai, taku ya apla concession approval. Somewhere this has to go. Mood changla hai, white hai te tum cha ghari, to bhandan kara, kona shi bhanda hai cha bhanda hai te acha saadi. Every home has utensils, throw it at each other, do what you like, but not in office. So the next thing we said, all right, if you have to do predictability on 2nd of January, we launched the ease of doing business and we sent a strong message to both sides. We sent a message to our own people, our own engineering and other staff, and also to the architects that if you have to be predictable, we need both sides to move a few steps ahead. To the MCGM, we sent basically two things. One, that have faith. Let's not assume that anybody who comes in front of us is a cheat, is out to take advantage, is out to rip us. No. Asa, please don't think that everybody is a cheat. Everybody is not a cheat. He is coming there with a genuine business desire. He has a genuine need to business. He is do business. He is coming in front of you. Not that he is trying to extract something from you. Let us not be suspicious about everything. And to do that, fundamentally we have to adopt a policy of what is called as test and trust. Test him. If you find he is good, please trust him. So that is the fundamental two psychological differences I wanted to send a message to my people. Please do it. Second, I also wanted to send a message to the architects, to professionals like you, that the more you comply with standards, the easier it will become for me to trust you. So if you comply with standards, you comply with the rules, my test you will pass and I trust you more and more. 
So test and trust will come, the more compliant you become. The every time you are non-compliant, we think, no, now again, let me find out, is he non-compliant, is he non-compliant? So more you test and trust, the more, we, uh, the, the more you become compliant, the more test and trust we do. So we've done that. We've moved quite a distance, that ease of doing business circular came out, we've discussed, we've moved quite a distance. I can see the difference, the very fact that so many people have come and have made a presentation itself is an indication that MCGM is changing and is changing for the better. In fact, earlier I used to hear horror stories. People are just not ready. I mean, I am deputy engineer, I am chief engineer. That has to change. It cannot happen. We have to change. If we are entitled to give out an information, we have to give it out. If there is something that we need to explain, we need to explain. We need to tell them that these are the questions I shall ask you. This is for, please remember, this is an open book exam. This is not a closed book exam. It's an open book exam. You have to tell him that this is the question and this is the answer I expect. That's it. You cannot say that, oh, to me, answer sheet mein bakto kai karai sa doesn't happen now what are the next steps where are we headed because we are not sitting quiet on 2nd of january if you recall when we launched that at sayadri all those who were present there honorable cm set the next agenda and he said the next thing that i want mcgm to do is please go online go online 100% and after you go online 100%, start seeing where your delays are. So he clearly said, why are those delays taking place, where those delays are, then you can actually start pinpointing where your delays are, go online. We've gone online, as the presentation that was made now, we've gone online quite a bit, almost every 15 to 20 days now, I am taking meetings at my level to see what is the next step of going online. The next step of going online is that we must also connect to departments that are not in the MCGM, outside the MCGM. Because the government of India and the government of Maharashtra is saying that once you put in an application at one point, there has to be one pipeline. There cannot be six pipelines where a person wanting to do business has to put applications. No. You should be able to put an application into one pipeline. It will get processed through that pipeline and fall outside from there as a cleared or not cleared proposal. So now everything else must connect to that pipeline. So the first thing that we are doing is that all remarks must come online from MCGM. So once you put in your application here, that application should go to SWD, should go to HE, should go to a pesticide officer or traffic or wherever. And from there, everybody should put his remarks at that one place. And from there itself, it should get processed. You should not go to HE, to SWD. No, not at all. That cannot happen. So that is the first thing that we are doing. We are working on it. Very soon, I think that should be true. Second thing simultaneously that we are working is to go online as far as the other approvals are concerned. When on two approvals, Mr. Chitore was just telling me that Airport Authority of India, we have already now linked. So you don't have to go separately to Airport Authority of India. You will put it from here. There itself will go directly and they will send the remarks. That trial has started. I think they will make it online very fast. Similarly, we've also connected with the National Monument Authority. So henceforth, even National Monument Authority, you need not go separately. You put in an application here, it will get processed there. Thirdly, we are now likely to connect with railways, Mahada, National Highway, and uh, CRZ, that is the environment clearance. So we are going to connect with them. At the end of this, now we are giving ourselves about two to three months. I am personally reviewing it. At the end of this, you don't have to go anywhere one window clearance will truly be one window. Today what is happening is, we are saying one window, but there are many doors. <laughs> that doesn't happen. No, doesn't happen. One window clearance means one window, you put in your application here, it goes to all departments which need to give approvals or reject it, those departments should look at it and feed into that approval, into that pipeline, that portal will show you on a daily basis who is processing what and you should be able to see it at one point. That is the ultimate aim. I think in the next three months with your cooperation, we should be able to achieve that. 
Next, while I was looking at the presentations, I wish I had the time to look at all the presentations, but some of the presentations when I looked at, I said we need to further simplify. No, we've still not reached. We need to simplify till it becomes simple. <laughs> the end of simplification is only one word which is simple. Have we achieved that? When I saw a few presentations, I said, no, we have not achieved it, not yet. Because when you sit there, you really cannot detail, you are left to people. But when, you are, when I was actually looking at the forms, I said, no, we have not reached simplification. Now, why have we not reached simplification? Because somewhere, we are not realizing that there is a difference between what we should check and what we should not check. To my mind, there are only two things that we need to check as public authority. Definitely, we are a public authority. Being a public authority, I am vested with the confidence of the people. The P I am in a fiduciary position, a position of trust. I am a trustee of people's confidence. People have put me there because they have confidence and I have a trustee of their confidence. I cannot do anything that will shake the confidence of the people. That is the first responsibility I have. From that responsibility emerges that when I look at your plan, is this plan going to go against the people? Please look at that point. So if there is a point that the drainage, the stormwater drain level is higher than the one you are bringing in, it is going to go against the people because the road will get flooded, the plot will get flooded, the water will not drain. It's a larger public interest. You are in a fiduciary capacity, you are a trustee. Please look at it. Take objection. Give him a suggestion, he shall do it. There is no way that he should not do it. Second thing, there are rules and laws that have been made. We are supposed to be the watchdogs to ensure that the rule and the law is followed. Please see that every rule, every law that has been laid down, is that being followed or not? If that's not being followed, the law may be logical or illogical. Many times architects come to me and say, Sahib, hey, Jemi, kelela balcony. He open eye, high logical. I said logical, eye, but show me the clause under which I can allow it. I will give it to you. So there is a slight difference between logic and legal. What may be logical may not be legal. That difference somewhere my architect friends have to understand and also my own people have to understand. Is it legal or not? And is it in public interest or not? These are the only two things that we must check as public authorities because we have to be at the end of the day honest to the people who we serve, who have appointed us, from whom our salaries come. It's the taxpayers' money that gives us the salaries. We have to be honest to them. These are the two, only two things that we need to check. Do we need to check beyond that? No, we don't need to. Now, I was looking at one... Uh, example, please don't mind uh, the examples that I am quoting. I am sure there will be examples all over. Example of water supply. I want the cross section of the underground tank. Tumala kai ghene dene square aso, rectangle aso, octagonal aso, triangle aso. Why? Why should I need the cross section? Sorry, why should I waste my time? You please ask him what is the population that is going to be there? What is the daily requirement? Multiplied by the population, so many liters per day is the water that you need. Ata tumi to go lakaracha tank mande theva, chauras mande theva, mala kai gane dene te achashi. Why should I even ask for it? It should be done away with. Let us start thinking. You can say, yes, storage tank, how much capacity of the storage tank? You are very correct in asking because. You are a custodian of public interest. Don't give us pani nahi ala. Me deu shaklo nahi ta tevda pani hai ka lokan saati. Tya building la serve karel ka. Ek divsa saati pani hai ki ni serve karel ka. Tu pani gravity ne zanar. Zarur vichara. Pump karawa la gel. Zarur vichara. Location kuthe hai tum chit taki cha. Zarur vichara shifti mala kiti pipe ghiun jai cha aat. Te pahava la gel. Sarva mala manne. But taki cha akar ka hai vichara ne sa kai karan hai. Bilkul nahi. See, we'll have to start thinking from the other man's shoes. Sometimes I keep telling, we sitting in the government has somewhere forgotten ki what is the pain of a common man. Samanya mansa cha vedna kya vyatha kya hai to kundi tari apan visar. That's why I keep telling my people, you know, once in a while, just walk out, leave your car, 
leave that topi and chappal of the commissioner go out listen to these people are far vyatha hai lokanse basa mag tumhala aikel radail kay kay challe the listen to the dukhna you will realize that what are the questions we are asking and where are we headed it's not leaking us anywhere similarly i was just looking at the traffic this thing clerk draftsman will issue one day clerk is a shabd which is not there anywhere in the world now i don't know why we have this what is a clerk doing that cannot be done by the executive engineer और तुम्हें पावती तैयार के लिए पाठन दिया ना ईमेल व्लर्क कसा सा पाजे बटन दावा जाए ईमेल वेर यू शूड गेट आउट ऑफ दिस थैंक यू वी आर इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन वी आर सिटिंग इन अ सिटी लाइक मुंबई आई कीप टेलिंग माई पीपल मुंबई के नॉट बी कम्पेयर विद एनी अदर सिटी इन द वर्ल्ड आई विल नाउ कम्पेयर माई सेल्फ विद इंडिया विद द वर्ल्ड वी आर अ वर्ल्ड क्लास सिटी वी आर डूइंग बिजनेस with the world we are not doing business just in india we have to think internationally we have to think positively and we have to think in a big way we can't think small we have to think big you can't do this similarly all that you know we are getting atami he pan bagna rahe ki car parking kaisa hai to driveway kaisa rehna rahe tumche please make standard designs that if you have so many cars this will be the road this is the geometry this is the turning this is the angle of turning please ask him to tick if that angle of turning the slope etc meets yes what will you understand or is anybody going to buy a house which does not have water or where the car will go in and cannot come out <laughs> i will not buy that house <laughs> well, please let us also trust the citizen to have some mind of his own that it is not that the citizen has no mind of his own citizen has a mind he is a thinking citizen aur jeva ghar khareedi karayla jata to swata jato त्याची बायको असता मुलं असता नाते गोते असता आई बाबा असता चार पाच नेबरचे लोक तू इतके प्रश्न विचारतो तर वेळच होता तो विकला वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड वॉन्टेड टू बाय अ हाऊस अँड आय अकंपनी डेम अहो काय काय प्रश्न त्यांनी विचारले तर विचारूच ना आय वॉज जस्ट वॉचिंग द फन आय डिन टेल एनिबडी हु आय एम आय वॉज जस्ट दॅट पुअर बिल्डर वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग टू एम वर खाली काय काय प्रश्न विचारले का इथे उंदीर येणार का कॉक्रोचच काय करणार हो म्हणजे ते काय सांगतील आज तुम्हाला नाही इथे ते क्रॅक आहे तिथून कॉक्रोच येईल पीपल पीपल आर ऑल्सो नॉट फूल्स दे विल बाय अ हाऊस विच हॅज वॉटर विच हॅज लाईट विच हॅज शेड दे ऑल्सो नो वेस्ट फेसिंग राईट फेसिंग वास्तू फिस्तू सर्व बघतात ते लोक लेट अस आस्क रेलेवंट क्वेश्चन्स लेट अस आस्क लिगल क्वेश्चन्स आय थिंक समवेअर वी नीड टू गेट बॅक होम डू आर होमवर्क इवन मोर फर्दर see what more we can sort of simplify which is a simple example which i quote everywhere i was in the electricity sector and when i looked at the form for taking an electricity connection it says name date of birth so i asked my chief in are my date of birth jar 1950 asel to tumhi 20 connection nahi denar ka mala how are you concerned nahi tumak tithe liya ke sahab date of birth dile nanta tumcha vaad divsa la mi ek card pathu changli gosht mag gya date of birth it is it looks very simple then a date of birth vichara kasala date of birth vichara tumhi connection nahi denar ka well, let us be honest with what we are asking why we are asking these questions from my career i have hundreds of these funny examples about questions being asked it doesn't make sense to ask such questions let us it takes time it takes energy of that fellow to you know uh, write all those things fill up those forms he also has some other business to do he is not here to only fill up your forms lastly i'll also be requesting my friends from piata also you need to somewhere educate your members that you will also have to do some study and come back to us see there is no sense in sitting and crying about the system and after i came to this job or even in my earlier electricity sector thousands of people would send me thousands of advisories but nobody and nobody ever sends me a solution please apply your mind tell us that this needs to improve can we not do this like that after all you are the client you know where the shoe pinches tell us that this is how things need to improve this is where you need to improve your process this is where you need to shorten your process this is where you need to pay a little more attention we will be open don't just tell us the problem ate aikat nahi te bolat nahi te office la yet nahi to vele var jat nahi 
Fair enough, these are problems, I agree with you. These are problems in any system, but give us solutions. Tell us these are the things that to be done. We will move ahead and put our mind to it and see that the solutions come out. Lastly, the end result of all this ease of doing business, bringing on online, seeing the questions that need to be asked, how do we bring in predictability, the word predictability will finally convert to what World Bank is saying. Earlier I was not agreeing with World Bank, but now I think there's a lot of sense in what World Bank is doing. And the end result, what is the end result of all this? Has to be what is called star rating. World Bank is saying, now please do risk-based approvals. I asked Chittore that day, what is this risk-based approval, what does it mean? So Mr. Chittore was telling me, sir, when they say risk-based approval, they mean that you start doing star rating. So if this is a five-star architect, whatever you submit, blindly approved. That means you are 100% compliant. You never, never miss out a compliance. If you are a four-star architect, I shall look at only these three things. If you are two-star, I shall look at that. If you are one-star, I should look at that. And if you are no-star, God save you. <laughs> Unless we bring this also, the competition in becoming compliance will not come. People crib about RTI. Everybody comes to me and say, Oh, RTI is a path razala, RTI is a path razala. Why razala RTI is a? Because we've been doing something wrong. If I do something right, let him do what he wants to do. Gehena maithi, kai farak padato hai. Ja gehun maithi kode jai se. Certain things I have decided. I don't entertain. Whatever you want, please go. Go wherever we will fight you in that forum. If we are compliant, if he is a five-star architect, even the RTI wala say five-star kare jai se nahi, ata apan zero-star kare jau. So if the RTI wala comes to that zero-star, he knows why he is there. My humble submission to Piata, now start working on star grading, like we are working on ease of doing business in the corporation. We are telling our people simplify. We are telling our people become more reliable, become more predictable. So also as Piata now, you have to tell your members, if you do this, we think that we will do self-certification, nothing to beat self-certification. I don't believe in certifying people. In fact, one of the simplifications that I have done for restaurants, for so many years, Mumbai had this system of grade A restaurant, grade B restaurant, grade C restaurant. We've removed it in one go. Whenever, even, even as a child, when I used to come to Bombay, I say grade A restaurant, Are bhai, tum ko non bolne wale grade A? Mujhe khana pasand aega to main na grade A. So why should corporation certify? I will certify, whether you are grade A or not. We removed that. No more grading of restaurants anymore. We, that is for you to decide. I will only see if the restaurant is hygienic, if the restaurant serves safe food. That is the two responsibilities I carry. I don't carry the responsibility of whether you like the food or not. It should be hygienic and it should be safe. To food khalyanantar, you should not become sick. That is my responsibility. I will limit myself to that. Similarly as Piata, it is not my responsibility to give you a star. I would request you to come forward and say, well, sir, these are the criteria that we have made. If he falls in all these criteria, he should get the following stars. And if he gets a five star, it is an architect which we will simply stamp, go. That's it. I'll stop here. Thank you so much for organizing this seminar. And let's have more of this. Thanks a lot.